You know, for many, many years on, on a lot of the band records, I did much of the engineering. It's something that I've been connected to for a long time. I had worked on so many different kinds of boards and machines and everything over the years. Everything did something interesting in its own way. But then when I decided I want to get something so if I lay something down, it can be on the record. In this studio, there's so many tremendous engineers and producers coming and going. And I said, you know, I've worked on all these different kinds of boards and everything, and I, I want to get one for my room. What would you recommend? They said, do you want to know what the best, the best in the world is? I said, yeah. And they said, you got to get a Neve board. And if you can find the 16-track Neve, when they first started with the 1073, it's got everything you need. It's perfect for your room. So I was like, oh, and it was hands down what everybody was saying. And I was working with the producer Daniel Lanois at the time, and Daniel was like, it is the most musical board of all the boards. He said, I've worked on everything. It's the one. So I said to the people at this guy who, you know, runs a studio here, and I said, I need to get a Neve board, and they're telling me if I can get that 16-track one, that's the one that came along and changed everything. He came back to me and he said, I found a 16-track Neve board for you, and it's in perfect condition. And I said, let's go. So I was excited about it, so I did some recording through it. I realized it has a character. It has a sound. It has a warmth. I fell in love with this board and I said personally to the board, I'm gonna take you on a journey, pal, you're not gonna believe. And I have. The music that I've made on this board and the people that I've worked with, that all their sounds have gone through this board, it's a museum piece. I don't want to waste time and forget what I'm thinking about or lose the inspiration. It has the simplest patch bay, which I've upgraded for modern things over the years. Everything is ready to go. That's the way I, I needed to work. And that's how I have, I've worked for however long it's been, 30 years or whatever, you know, on this thing. Over all the years, it's almost countless <laughs> the number of artists that I've worked with in different projects and movies, on records, on soundtracks, on all of these things. In the music that I've done that has ran through this, a lot of stuff with Van Morrison. I've done stuff with Aaron Neville. I've done things with the Meters out of New Orleans, one of the funkiest groups ever on the planet. I have worked with this group that I used to really love their sound, the Blue Nile. I've worked with Gil Evans, one of the greatest arrangers that ever lived. Willie Dixon, maybe the greatest blues songwriter that ever was. Glenn Hansard, who's a, an amazing songwriter and singer. I've done stuff with Neil Young, Bruce Hornsby. There's so many movies. I wrote a song and recorded it, did everything right in here called Shine Your Light for this movie with Joaquin Phoenix and John Travolta called Ladder 49. And when I saw it in the movie, I thought, that came out of this little space right here. I did the score for The Color of Money. I did the score for Casino, the movie Phenomenon. Uh, Eric Clapton, I found a song called Change the World that I brought to him because I was doing the soundtrack and he recorded it and he won several Grammys for it and the best song of the year and all kinds of stuff. I worked on Oliver Stone's film, Any Given Sunday, with Al Pacino and Jamie Foxx and Gangs of New York, The Departed, Shutter Island. I did The, the Wolf of Wall Street. 
a soundtrack and all of those things I would bring up through here. Eric Clapton and I were doing an album together, but I ended up writing 90% of the song. So he said, I want this to be your album, but I'll play on every track. And it was a, a record called How to Become Clairvoyant. I worked with Tom Morello, Robert Randolph, Trent Reznor, Steve Winwood, and then doing <clears throat> the anniversary of records that I did with the band that I was mixing with Bob Clearmountain but I did the band's album, A Rock of Ages, and we redid it as uh, Live at the Academy. Incredible sounding record. Then we did the 50th anniversary of music from Big Pink, again with Clear Mountain. And then this last album that I did, Cinematic, which is music from The Irishman and music from my documentary, Once We're Brothers. And now, with Clear Mountain, I've just finished the 50th anniversary of the band's Stage Fright album, and also a concert of the band at Royal Albert Hall. You know, we didn't even know some of this stuff even existed, and we found that and put it in the package, and, and the concert just turned out to sound incredible. A lot of it, you know, is, is really about, you know, knowing your instruments, and this is part of my instruments. I feel kind of proud of the history that I've brought to this board. And I'm, and I'm kind of grateful for how loyal it's been. My dream would be that this console ends up in the hands of somebody that can totally feel the history of a piece of equipment like this and what it's been witness to and what it's complemented. I've taken this on a journey that nobody could even imagine. And the, the music that's gone through this board is just a phenomenon. I hope this ends up with somebody who completely appreciates the incredible journey that this board has been on. It is historic.